Welcome to Shrosa's classes. Please WhatsApp or call us at the given number for any doubts of our full videos on our courses. Today we are going to do some very interesting sums on physical sciences. Let's begin with our first question. In the OP amp circuit shown in the figure below, the input voltage Vi is 1 volt. The value of the output V0 is as follows. Notice the circuit, therefore this given circuit is an inverting OP amp circuit, therefore the output can be calculated as V0 equals to minus 1 plus 1 by 1 into 1 by 1 plus 1, that is V0 equals to minus 2 into half or minus 1 volt that is option C moving on to the next question now an LED operates at 1.5 volt and 5 milliamperes in forward bias assuming 80% external efficiency of the LED how many photons are emitted per second? Let's see how to do this. Remember power P equals to Vi that is volt into ampere current. Therefore 1.5 into 5 into 10 to power minus 3 which equals 7.5 into 10 to power minus 3 watt. Therefore output power equals to 80% of P which equals to 7.5 into 10 to power minus 3 into 80 by 100 and this comes to 6 into 10 to power minus 3 watt or power equals to N H C by lambda. Now putting in the values we find n equals to p lambda by hc which equals 6 into 10 to power 3 into 55 into 10 to power minus 8 whole divided by 6.6 .6 into 10 to power minus 34 into 3 into 10 to power 8 or h equals to 5 by 3 into 10 to power 16 which equals 1.5 into 10 to power 16 or this answer corresponds with number B now in the next question the transistor in the given circuit has HFE equals to 35 ohms and HIC equals to 1000 ohms if the load resistance RL equals to 1000 ohms, the voltage and current gain are respectively either of the four options. Let's see how to do this. Therefore, voltage gain equals minus 35 into 1000 all divided by 1000 which is equals to minus 35. And current gain Cg equals to minus of Vg which is equals to plus 35. The simply the answer is option number A. Let's see another such type of question. Now we need to figure out which of the following limits exist. Please observe each and every equation given as A, B, C, D. Look at the limits specifically and you will be able to understand on upon observation you see that limit n tends to infinity summation m equals to 1 whole to power n 1 by m which is option d remains finite as n tends to infinity 
hence only D exists for others it does not remain finite in all the cases n tends to infinity and there is log that is the log up upon differentiation or upon further calculation will tend to an infinite large value and hence the limit will not, not exist or as in mathematical terms we say limit ceases to exist let's see what the next question will be we need to find the value of the integral given in the question thus this equals I'm not writing the question since it's already written therefore 2 ranging from 0 to infinity 1 by t square minus r square cos rt by 2 capital R dt or small f z equals to e to power i 2r by 2 capital R whole divided by z square minus capital R square now the poles are given by z square minus r square equals to 0 or z equals to plus minus capital R this is how the diagram will be look like let C be a contour consisting of upper half circle therefore the poles inside are z equals to minus r and r residue at z equals to r equals limit z tends to r z minus r by z square minus r square into e to power i r by 2 capital R z and now residue at z equals to minus r equals e to power minus i r by 2 whole divided by 2 r and that sorry I missed a step this equals e to power i r by 2 by 2 r therefore the sum of residuals are one by two r e to power i r by two plus e to power minus i r by two hence the value of the integral is two pi i into one by two r into two which equals 2 pi whole divided by r with this we come to an end of another great video please like subscribe and click on the notification button you can whatsapp or call us at the given number for any doubts questions or for full videos on our courses